Hello everybody, welcome to OnlineLessonVideos.com. I'm Ryan Spearman and today we're going to be learning Clawhammer Banjo. This is the Clawhammer Banjo for the Complete Beginner course. Let's make some noise. All right, in order to execute this basic claw hammer strum, which is the foundation of the claw hammer style, uh, we're going to have to realize that we're only using a couple parts of the right hand. We're using the back of the fingernail of a finger, and I use the middle finger, the fingernail and the middle finger. Some people use the index. Um, it's up to you. For purposes of simplicity, I'll just be referring to the finger motions as the middle finger or the third finger, or I'm sorry, the second finger. Um, so if you're using your index, that's fine. Just realize I'll be talking in middle finger terminology here. And we just use that middle finger and the thumb. Those are the only two parts of the hand that get any work done here. Um, you're going to need a fingernail to make a good clean sound. So most people will grow their fingernail out a little bit past the flesh of their finger. And that way they get a nice um, effect like a, like a plectrum. Uh, I personally have trouble keeping that maintenance up, so I like to use a finger pick. So I use a, uh, like a standard banjo finger pick. For instance, here's a standard pick you might recognize from bluegrass banjo players. Um, they're usually worn in this fashion for doing some upstroke like this. Um, we're actually going to wear it upside down, so as far as bluegrass three finger style banjo players are concerned. We're backwards or upside down here. We're doing our own thing. Um, I actually prefer this particular pick here. It's called a pro pick and it's actually it's a little rounder and it's got a cut out there and it really emulates a fingernail the way it it slides over the flesh at the end of the fingernail so it really really makes for a comfortable feel there. All right. So without further ado, let's get to down to the basics of the claw hammer strum. All right, in order to play claw hammer banjo, we need to have this claw hammer strum down. This is a, a strum that's best described in banjo language as a boom chicka. Um, so what I, what I mean here, to clarify, is this motion here, the series of motions. Boom chicka, boom chicka. So we'll use that language as we progress with this technique. Um, again, we're only using the back of a fingernail. In this case, I'm using my third, my middle finger with a pick to reinforce it. Um, and we're going to use the thumb as well. And the thumb, for the time being, is only going to do one thing. It's only going to play the fifth string. To make this boom chick emotion, we start with the boom, and that is simply plucking a string. We'll use our third string, our middle string here plucking a string with the back of that fingernail. And notice what I did here that is different if you've played other string instrument or watch other people play other string instruments. There's a difference between what I'm doing and what a, what a lot of players will do on various other styles, which is I'm not using my knuckles to flick through the string like this. I'm using my whole hand. I've got my hand in a static position here and it's a claw it's a claw hammer looks something like this just a loose fist that's where the we get that name the claw hammer style and so i keep my hand in that pretty solid position and just move the whole hand in order to get that note um, so you might not be able to see exactly how the pick is hitting that string but it's just like that it's not a bad idea to get in the habit of hitting the string and imagining that it's a trampoline and that your finger hits it and bounces back up to where we started up here in this position hovering above the strings. If you think in that trampoline effect, if you think in that imagery there, it'll help you get that motion because we're not playing through the string like this actually bouncing off the string so we're giving it a, a thwack and we're bouncing up trampoline style so that's our boom 
and you can do any string but right now we're using our third string as our example in the beginning the precision isn't too necessary don't worry yourself too much if you're hitting some of the adjacent strings or if you're hitting the wrong string you want to just work on the attack and aim for the middle string just start working on your accuracy see i'm hitting the second string there it's okay just want to work on that trampoline Adjacent strings, it's okay. I'm still working my motion. Hit the fourth string. Doesn't matter. All right. Practice that until you feel comfortable, and then we'll add the next two sets of motions.